Hi guys, this is Mr. Mean Worms. I'm gonna be showing you more mean worms. <laughs> so these are the mean worms that are ready. I just keep them in trays like this, wide open trays. I don't cover them completely. I cover them half. I'll tell you the reason why. So once you receive your worms, you can keep them um, either in a tub like this. Or you, if you don't have a lot of them, you can put them in a smaller Tupperware like this. Anyway, just make sure whenever you get them that you don't completely cover them. I'm just using this as an example. Don't cover your mealworms completely because they won't be able to breed. And all the moving that these guys do creates friction and heat and it's gonna be very humid in there if there there is not enough ventilation in there some guys make holes in the top of the containers but they are not enough and the result is still dead meal worms the best way that I personally recommend is not to cover it entirely because these guys they can't climb out they cannot climb out of this container they cannot so the best way is to cover them half or less than half of the open container you can cover it like that and make sure that there is space and opening and that way it's best and most of the meal won't survive that way because they do need ventilation but they they don't need dry air so covering them half just in my opinion keeps the air that's moving in and out at least partially humid which is best for them the care for them uh, in terms of feeding and the maintenance is very simple every other day you can put in some oats you can put in some grains and then you can uh, put in a piece of carrot as the carrot is their uh, main hydration this is how they get their water from and let me show you the amounts in just a second let me just go and grab something some of these grains and uh, carrots a second. so this piece of carrot is plenty for them you can put in more mealworms the best way to measure how many mealworms you should put in a container is simply by by seeing how much of them are stacked so from the bottom from the bottom they shouldn't be when you put all of the mealworms they shouldn't be more than like uh, one centimeter so suppose if they are if they are stacked this way this is bad because this will just be overpopulation in a small space so you want them distributed where they're not stacked at all and this amount of mealworms in this container should be enough you should not add more than that and they're already starting to eat the, <laughs> the carrot so and uh, the amount of food this is just a mixture I use for myself uh, some corn some oats some grains uh, you can just directly use in uh, directly put in oats or grains and that will work as well you don't have to mix and do this this is just for my own personal preference I like my feeders to be fully gut loaded uh, with the proper nutrients and, and uh, food so once I sell them out, uh, they go gut loaded and ready to feed. And this is basically how you would keep them. If you have a large, you got a large amount of uh, mealworms, then you can just use a bigger, uh, bigger tub. But just use uh, the stacking method for reference. Make sure that they are not uh, stacked uh, like uh, more than one centimeter. So. An amount like this should be more than plenty but if they are stacked 
you know this way then it's bad you have to remove some of the mealworms to make sure that they are not stacked cover the container half and you're good to go i hope this helped out let me know if i miss anything you can also put mealworms in the fridge just make sure that they are dry and every week you can take them out and give them some food let's say for 24 hours let them rehydrate eat and then you can put them back in the fridge and you can repeat this uh, as much as you want just make sure to feed them once a week and no the mealworms won't die in the fridge i'll repeat the mealworms won't die in the fridge they will just hibernate go to sleep and yeah let me know if i missed anything down in the comments or just dm me have a good day